No. No matter what happens, I'm in this for the long haul. There's stones on you showing up here. Of course, I guess it makes it easier for me to have you arrested for drugging Bianca since you're already in the police station. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course not. The day will come. Until it does, how about a truce? How about you kiss? All right, look, I know you don't like me. I accept that. But Greenlee loves you. I love her. I want her to be happy. Which means having you in her life. Having your love, your approval. My approval? On what, David? On marrying you? On framing Erica for embezzlement? On having something to do with her plane crashing? On which of those would you like my approval? Father's Day was very difficult for Greenlee this year. Yeah, it was a little tough for me, too. Wondering if my daughter was complicit in the attempted murder of my fiance. There was no attempted murder, Jack. Why am I even talking to you? Get the hell away from me. You missed years of your daughter's life. You lost her once. She's back. How can you treat her like this? I'd love to be a part of my daughter's life, but as long as she's with you, under your influence, drifting further and further away from me every day, I don't see how that's possible. Greenlee will never truly be happy as long as she's at odds with you. Let me try to make this perfectly clear for you. I don't see my daughter and I having any kind of relationship until you're in prison or dead. You've just been waiting for this, haven't you? You've got to admit it's a really good idea. Serve up David to take the heat? Forget it. He's responsible. He's the one who did it. He's responsible. He's the logical choice. You would do anything to split us up. I don't give a damn if you're together with David or not. And truth, I think you deserve each other. I am merely proposing the best and legitimate way to solve this problem. Throw my husband in prison? He's guilty. He did set me up, and he sabotaged my plane. Those are vicious rumors and nothing more, so we need to come up with a better solution. You know she's right, Greenlee. You, you just don't want to see it. You're not even a part of this company. The Miranda Center has my daughter's name on Stop it. Stop being so stubborn, Greenlee. He doesn't have a, a reputation to uphold. He's been stripped of his medical license. He's been involved in countless crimes. A few SEC violations is nothing to a man like David. But everyone would believe he's guilty of manipulating the Miranda line accounts. The case would be closed. Fusion would be back on track. Well, for you, maybe. But what about David? There's no proof that he's done anything wrong. I'm proof. He drugged me. What? What are you talking about? I threatened to make a, a big scene at Greenlee's victory announcement, ruin her big party. He slipped something into my drink. I woke up in a room in the yacht club. Oh, my God. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Well, that's it. I am having him arrested. You no, know, there's no proof. The drugs are all out of my system. He really did that to you? Are you surprised? Look. It's a very simple choice here. Do you continue to, to blindly protect a man who would drug innocent people or worse? Or do you save this company? You know, when you and Greenlee first got married, I was pretty angry, pretty upset. But then I thought, hey, wait a minute, Jack. Who knows? You know? Maybe... She'll be a good influence on it. Maybe she'll change him, make him better somehow. But as it turns out, I hardly know who my daughter is anymore. Greenlee is the same amazing woman she's always been. Erica almost died because of Greenlee, or you, or the both of you. She looks very much alive to me, Jack. Oh, I see. So I'm just supposed to let it go? Just forgive and forget because Erica managed to somehow miraculously survive all that it's not gonna happen I'm sorry to hear that for Greenlee's sake you know you seem to be laboring under the misconception that because I'm not mopping the floor with you right now that somehow I'm not dangerous but you see you're wrong about that 
I'm just waiting. I'm just biding my time, waiting for you to let down your guard. And then you'll see how dangerous I really am. How bad can prison be? Where the Stuarts are at, right? Yeah, I wouldn't test it. I'm pretty tough, you know. I mean, I could be the leader of a gang on the inside. Okay, maybe you need to watch a little less late-night cable. I can take the heat at Fusion. I'm willing to do it. You're either nuts or you're very, very brave. What is the second time you've called me brave? If you say it again, I might actually start to believe you. You are brave. Okay, and a little nuts. But I like it. You couldn't stop them? I'll figure something out. We'll be in touch. What now? I need to get out of here. Okay, fine. And while you're off and enjoying your free time, please think very carefully about your priorities. Have I told you how happy I am to have you here, even if it's for just a short time? There's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> I am sorry, however, that you had to leave your, your wife and your kids to come back to such a mess. Oh, it's never neat and tidy around here, is it? <laughs> True. <laughs> Would you please sit down before you pass out? Okay. <laughs> well, only you would mm -hmm. almost die on some mountain and then... Come back immediately into battle. Well, now, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just lie down in my hospital bed? Um, yes. <laughs> you still haven't told me about all that. You must have been really scared. Well, I, I was afraid that sometimes I wasn't coming back. But actually, I was lucky. I was lucky because it wasn't alone. Now, Crystal said that Caleb guy was a little scary. Yeah, he was. He drove me crazy sometimes, too. Sometimes I wanted to wring his neck, but... <laughs> he saved my life. More than once. You were running from something. Life. Love. All the things that real living entails. You could have that all again, you know. What? The things I've been talking about. Joy. Love. Hope. Well, if you're sure you don't want to rebuild. I'm sure. Hey, uh, what was that woman's name anyway? Dorothy. Dorothy. 